and thank you for coming out this morning. As you know, the uh, Tina Fontaine homicide is a tragic event that has occurred here in our city, uh, impacted the entire community, and I think specifically the First Nations community. Uh, the Winnipeg Police Service have been working diligently with our community to solve this homicide. Now, I'm appearing today to address recent media reports that I believe have the potential to open unnecessary wounds and damage the ongoing investigation and relationships with the police and the community. And so to that, to that end, I feel I must correct some factual errors and shed some light on investigative processes. Now, as I have indicated previously, while the Winnipeg Police Service is in conducting a criminal investigation into the homicide of Tina Fontaine, it is also conducted an internal investigation into the conduct of two members who had contact with Tina Fontaine prior to her disappearance. And I know it is my responsibility as Chief of Police to hold the Winnipeg Police Service employees accountable to the very high standards of conduct and values that we swore to uphold. I believe the public expects this from me, but it's also my responsibility as Chief to deal with human resource and personal matters. And I believe, again, the public expects that from us. It has been reported in the media that a third internal investigation is being conducted by the Winnipeg Police Service, and I will confirm that an investigation is currently being conducted. I will also say, though, as with any organization of over 1,900 human beings, there will be human resource issues that are investigated and are addressed appropriately. The Winnipeg Police Service deals appropriately with these matters as they arise, and as with other organizations, the Winnipeg Police Service does not discuss human resource matters in the public forum. While I will not discuss human resource issues publicly, I want you to understand there is absolutely no link whatsoever between the Tina Fontaine investigation and the ongoing human resource investigation. I will not be making any further comments on any of those investigations as a matter of legal and regulatory process, because I believe to do so may pose great jeopardy to those investigations. I am addressing this specific issue today out of genuine concern for the hardworking men and women of the Winnipeg Police Service who daily put their lives on the line for our citizens and act with the utmost professionalism and integrity. I believe as the leader of the Winnipeg Police Service, I set a very high standard of moral, ethical, and legal conduct for our members, and I hold myself to that same standard, and I value both Winnipeg Police Board and public accountability. Transparency and accountability is critical to public confidence, but what is also critical is a clear understanding of what this means. Transparency and accountability does not mean responding to requests that violate legal or regulatory processes that may bring the administration of justice into disrepute or that may unfairly and unnecessarily damage the reputation of our members. I am concerned and I am deeply troubled with the linking of an internal human resource investigation to the tragic murder of a vulnerable young woman in our community. And so as Chief of Police, I am here to assure the public that there is absolutely no link whatsoever between these investigations as reported in the media. And the Winnipeg Police Service continues to be determined to work diligently with our community to resolve this homicide. Thank you. Yes? Um, there's the allegation that a supervisor who was on duty was leaving work early. If that's the case, how is that relevant to the Tina Fontaine case if the two officers who were under his supervision had contacted her a month ago? Again, as I indicated, the supervisor had no direct interaction in terms of the actions that were taken relative to the contact of those members with uh, Ms. Fontaine. So there is no connection. There's no relevancy to those two. If the two officers wanted to touch base with their supervisor, would he have been around to do so? There is always a supervisor available to our officers. Always a supervisor available. Any uh, elaboration of kind of progress you're making on the homicide investigation whatsoever? 
you know, again, I, I really do want to keep those pieces separate, and I know in the uh, release there might have been some indication that we would provide an update on that, but I think because I truly want to address and focus on this specific issue today, any additional update on the actual investigation will be done in another event. Do you feel you're making progress on that? Again, I'm, as I indicated, I am going to leave that for another presentation because I truly would like to keep those separate. At this point, what I really want to focus on and very clearly state to the public, there is no link between the ongoing human resources investigation and the Tina Fontaine, either the homicide or the investigation in relation to the two members who had contact with her. Absolutely no link as, re as was reported. And that's what I want to focus on today. Chief Minister, can you give us a sense of the timeline, though, for, for specifically the, the, the view of the two police officers? Like, when can the players expect a response uh, from the police, or at least information? Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you that file was handed to me just this week. And probably within a short period of time, the file itself will be forwarded to the Crown for opinion. So that investigation has moved forward very well. And so in a very short timeline, you'll hear about that. Which investigation are you talking about? talking relative to the uh, two officers who had contact with the spot team. That's going to a crown, a crown for a crown opinion? Well, I think, charges? I think uh, in a case like this, uh, if we did not move that forward uh, to have an outside look at it, somebody might come back and say it again, we'll be scrutinized for not doing that. So we're taking every step to ensure there's open transparency relative to any decision we will leave that up to the Crown. So, so just, to be, just to be clear, is it a criminal, you, is the Crown looking at a criminal, possible criminal? Here's criminal. what I will say. We will move that forward to the Crown for their determination. That's what I'm saying at this point. That was also the interview? Yes, the investigation is completed. So, does it, is it going to Crown, to the Crown for only because of the media scrutiny, or is this something No, absolutely not. I mean, I think I also need to make it very clear here. Uh, the decisions that we make, and particularly myself as the Chief of Police, uh, it's not because of any media, media scrutiny or necessarily public opinion. As I indicated, I hold myself and the organization to a very high standard of accountability. These are processes that will be ongoing regardless of what we might see playing out in the media. Because again, I believe that we should have a very high standard. Are you going to recommend these charges be laid to the ground? Again, what I'm saying is that we're moving that forward. Uh, I think it's better to have an objective view rather than myself trying to affect the outcome in any way, shape, or form. So it's standard, standard, it's standard not... practice for the ground to review something like this, an internal investigation? Standard practice? No, not all of them. Some are different. This is obviously a very serious event, and so we're moving it forward. Well, not every single internal investigation goes can, to this level. Can you, can you clear That's something good. up, Chief? Just, just a, a point of uh, was Tina Fontaine uh, on the computer as a high risk youth at Again, the time? I would say this. I am not making any additional comments on that. All those details can come out at the conclusion of that. As I said, I really want to focus on clarifying the point that today there was no link between those pieces. And there will be a statement following the Crown looking at it as to the open of that internal investigation. Gordon, I am not going to say yeah or nay to anything at this particular point <coughs> to you. Uh, when we receive the, uh, the report back, we'll make a determination. We talk about openness, transparency. I'll ensure that there is openness and transparency is what I will tell you. What charges could you recommend? Talk about or what I don't think I'm going to address that issue any further at this point, as I've indicated, that I really will not be saying too much on those specific investigations. We said we'll move that forward, and I don't want to affect the outcome by making any kind of Can you just let us know how heavily this is weighing on the force? You've got two internal investigations, you've got a homicide investigation, you've got everyone looking at you. What is this like for you as chief? Well, let me be honest with you. What's weighing heavily on my mind, and I'm certain on the minds of our members, is that, as I indicated, on a daily basis, I get so many emails and personal comments from our citizens about the great work that our members are doing. And again, we have an organization of over 1,900. And certainly, there will be instances, whether it be in this police organization or any or any organization within the city or the country, where, yes, we may have some misconduct. But it seems to me the ones that really get this much attention are the misconduct. And so it does weigh very heavily on the minds of our members who are out there on a daily basis, acting with just, as I said, utmost professionalism and integrity, that that doesn't get as much play 
sometimes when something goes wrong. Well, Chief, why don't you share that with us then? Why don't you share those emails with the, with the media? We don't have access to your emails. Could you possibly give us those good stories? Tell us what your members? That would be a good thing for your media people to do. I would absolutely have, love to do that. And I would say in all honesty and fairness, many times we've said that and the response back was, that just doesn't garner the same type you of attention, but I would love to. Okay, you, I, would, you, I will take you up on that. Happy to do that. I'd be very happy to take you up on that. Okay, great. Okay, we'll conclude it there. Uh, thank you all.